Okay, so I split this plant just to try to identify stages. And uh, right here you can see we find this, see the first node, go up, hollow stem up to the second node. And then uh, we see the head starting to form right here. So if you were to, uh, you can start to see the spikelets starting to form and uh, we're starting to create yield right now. So uh, we're at growth stage 32. So we're looking at Princeton on our left and Stanford on our right. And the Princeton, you can definitely see a, a color difference to the two. Princeton is again further along. We're at uh, growth stage 32 with it. The Stanford is at about 31. Uh, you can definitely start to see a height difference as well. As so right now we're just looking at our Princeton plot and uh, just wanted to point out that you can see the effects of compaction from the previous year. You can see the two lines down the middle of the plot. That was not from a track from the spring. It was actually compaction from last fall. So it just shows how, uh, how much of an issue compaction can be. Looking at Keldon on our left, Princeton on our right. Uh, two obvious things you'll notice here is the color difference, the height difference. Uh, between the two varieties. Uh, Princeton looks taller. Uh, the Keldon also seems to be maturing slightly slower than the uh, Princeton. The Princeton's further ahead. It's at about growth stage 32. The Keldon is just entering growth stage 31. So uh, definitely some uh, maturity differences between the two varieties. All right, we're looking at 614 on our left and Brooklyn on our right. Um, they both look very good as far as yield potential. Uh, lots of plants per square foot and uh, they don't really look to have much of a height difference right now but you do notice a difference uh, in density uh, or uh, or open canopy in the in the 153 if you just look at it looking at palmer on our right and cm614 on our left again uh, not a whole lot of difference between the two they both seem to be have a uh, very they just both seem to be fairly thick again we're looking at 614 and noticing that uh, uh, another unique characteristic, all the uh, tillers seem to be at the same uh, maturity as the main stem right here. So looking at a variety named Laurel right now, uh, it looks to be a very good yield potential. Uh, it did very well in, the, in our preliminary trials last year. You can just notice how thick it is in the field, so uh, lots of plants per square foot, definitely. Looking at Palmer on our left and Laurel on our right, and. Uh, uh, not a whole lot of difference between the two varieties. They both look very good. Uh, you can definitely tell that the Palmer is slightly taller. Looking at Laurel, one of the things we are noticing about it is how even it is. You can definitely feel, see right across the field that it has a really nice even look to it. Looking at Brooklyn, you can see how open canopy it is. Uh, kind of a unique thing for people who want to uh, get a variety that they can really push the seeding rate of and push the management of. So they might want to uh, put more seed on. Uh, manage it heavier, put more more uh, fertilizer on, and it stands really well too. That's one thing we noticed from last year. So uh, you can see how straight up it is, and it might be a good option for that. 